Hey guys, welcome back to the channel, Technotalks here. So in today's video, we're going to be checking out another case for the iPhone 14 Pro. And in front of us today, we have the MKiKi clear case for the iPhone 14 Pro. So this case on Amazon does retail for $16.99 and there is also a coupon code that you can click on, clip on there. And if you do add it to your cart, then you will just have 5% off. So let's go ahead and open this up. So we have a pretty decent package, as you can see, nice little outline of what the case looks like, plus some branding, MKE clear case, and on the back we do get some more information, so iPhone 14 Pro, case, and clear case basically. Premium TPU plus PC material, offer extra protection, precise design, crystal clear, and that's basically about it. So nothing more to this. So let's go ahead and open this up. I already went ahead and cut the tape, so I don't have to deal with that in the video, but here we have our case. On the inside, we don't get anything else. Just have this pull tab or the case that it pla that is placed on there. And the case is inside of this plastic pouch. So let's move this to the side and get the case out of here. All right. And here we have our clear case. So something I have noticed is some clear case brands, they go ahead and put some stickers on the top layer and on the bottom layer, so the outside and the inside, so it doesn't get any dirty when you're placing it on your phone, and it's completely clean when you place it on the device. But right here, we don't have that present, but that is fine as I'm just gonna go ahead and place this case right on top of my phone without even waiting. With this case, I have noticed some design changes to some other clear cases. Usually most clear cases are basically the same, but on this one right here, we do get this nice little bumper design and it provides a air cushion on the side. So when you do drop it, you should be fine with most drops and it should give you some more drop protection than some other cases that I've actually checked out on this channel. Let's go ahead and check out the lip. So here we have a nice large lip for the camera lens which will definitely protect your camera lenses as it is higher than the camera lenses compared to some other cases. And if you do manage to drop it, then your camera lenses should be fine as there is protection around it. Not so sure if you do get like a rock right where you drop it, just go to drop it right on that rock and it hits it, but I guess that's bad luck for you. But again, overall, most use cases, they should be perfectly fine with protecting your phone. On the front display, we can see that we don't get the largest of the lips, but it does have this curved design. And this is actually reminding me of some D-brand cases, the grip case, which actually has this design as well. The top layers, as you can see, the top and the bottom, they have a nice large lip and it starts going down and curves into the display where the lip is basically not there at all. It's still present, but it's very minimal and it won't add any protection to the sides. However, when you do drop your phone, since the top and the bottom are the first parts that actually hit the ground, then you actually don't need anything on the sides. And what this provides is basically, when you're using your device, your thumb isn't actually higher off the display and it gives a smoother experience when you're using it with a case, which is something I do like with my D-Brand Grip case, which I used for a long time on, I believe my iPhone 12 Pro. It was a super good case, especially with that feature right there, the lips being higher on the top and the bottom ends, and then being lower on the sides, which enabled me to use it a lot easier. You might not notice it at first, but but once you actually get it on hand and you start using the case with your device, you will definitely start noticing it. Another thing that I'd like to talk about is the edges are very minimal and they basically don't cover anything. So you don't really need a speaker grill cut out for the top portion right here. Most cases they do come over a little bit on the display, but this one right here doesn't do that. So we do have a nice design on the inside inner display as well. Again, let's move on to our cutouts. On the bottom, we do have our charging port cutout plus our speaker grill cutout. And then on the top, let's see if we have a microphone cutout. We don't have one and it's probably covered by these bumpers right here, which is okay, I guess. Uh, I will have to see if it actually affects the quality, but it probably shouldn't. And then on the side right here, we do get very minimal branding. It just says Mkiki, and you can barely see that as this is a clear case and it's actually written in clear letters as well. And then, as we talked about, the sides do offer extra protection compared to some other cases. This is actually similar to one of the case by cases that I actually checked out recently. I forgot the name for it, but it's the one with the bumper guards on the outsides, which was super cool that they had that, and it'll definitely give you some more protection. One other thing on the back, as you can see right here, the sides, the edges, and the top and bottom lip, 
It's actually very similar to the lip on the front display where it curves in from the top and the bottom all the way to the middle and it starts curving down towards the display. And on here we have the same thing and the back plate is actually just flat all across. So no bumps or curves on the back plate. However, on the edges, we still get and get that extra protection. So it definitely doesn't directly hit the back of the phone. Even if there's a case on there, it still hits the sides first, which definitely absorb a lot of the shock. So that is basically going to wrap it up for this case right here. Again, this isn't a MagSafe compatible case. You don't have MagSafe rings. You could still probably use it with the MagSafe puck and wirelessly charge it, but it probably wouldn't be the stickiest of them all. So it probably wouldn't be with one, like if you didn't have a case on or if you had a MagSafe case on. But again, if you don't use MagSafe too much, that's fine. But for me personally, I do use MagSafe a lot and it would be nice if they had a MagSafe compatible one. So. That is basically going to wrap it up for this video. Again, if you did enjoy this video, make sure to like and subscribe as it helps support the channel. And if you do want to check this product out, there will be a link down below. So see y'all in the next one.